Hello, hello, it's Kitty. Proud to be your thought organizer and declutter specialist uh, with Declutter the Brain coming to you live on uh, January, what is it? Thursday. Thursday, January 27th. Let's pump up the volume a little bit, shall we? I sound like I'm whispering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Thursday, January 27th, day 467 of our Facebook Lives. And if you have been following along, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate whether you're watching on uh, Facebook Live or the replay or LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah. We'll talk about YouTube in a little bit. Um, I, it, it is a lovely winter day here where I'm at and apparently I've been living in a bubble. I didn't know that the Super Bowl was last Sunday. Uh, at least I think it would. <laughs> I think that was the Super Bowl. Anywho, I was wondering why people were talking in the chat about, in, in chats about uh, Go Chiefs and this and that and the other thing. Hello, Michael. Maybe you can fill me in. Was it the Super Bowl last Sunday? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't watch the news as uh, very uh, almost 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 not at all. So, so I didn't know, but that's okay. I would rather keep my mental energy. I, I love football, as a matter of fact. But um, I'd rather hello Pam. I would rather keep my mental energy for the things that matter, which is you. All right, uh, my content. Uh, yeah, yeah everything like that. I concentrate on my, on my clients. So, who am I? I am Kitty Anders with Declutter the Brain. And uh, what do I do? I help entrepreneurs, startups, and uh, you know, I'll start a business someday. Quotes. Um, uh, I, I help them to eliminate their physical and mental clutter so that they can put more focus on making money in their business or preparing to. And, uh, you know, even just creating an amazing life. Tell you what, I've got 20 years, uh, over 20 years of uh, experience with helping people to get their surroundings under control. And I do believe that physical clutter and what is it, guys? Lack of focus and concentration are uh, very closely intertwined. In fact, they're they're married to each other. They've been married for for a hundred years, uh, and so I've developed a step by step one system that has helped me. Yes, me as well, and my clients go from broke and overwhelmed to well off organized and focused and I tell you my one system this is something I haven't mentioned before is my one system is applicable not oh it was just the playoffs oh good okay so I didn't I didn't miss the halftime show <laughs> but I'm bum uh, who won can you type that um, <laughs> Okay, now Kitty's getting interested. My one system is applicable to not only decluttering your space, but your head, your brain, declutter the brain, your health, your heart, your emotions. We're getting into Valentine's Day pretty soon. Yep, I'm planning the content for that already. Um, <laughs> your home, your health, your habits, your heart, and, and your head. Anyway, we declutter a whole lot. It's not just about the space. Uh, you want just the space, Marie Kondo can help you very, very well. All right, so how would that help you to take immediate action on your clutter? Mm -hmm. um, tell you what, it can, re it, can, it can just move mountains. The clients that I've worked with have found that there was a direct link between their clutter and their business mindset. And once we uh, minimize that chaos, I'll tell you what, we uh, uh, focus and clarity and productivity, we're not far behind. Okie dokie, uh, let's roll, shall we? Speaking of health, as I mentioned just a few seconds ago, that is what we're talking about to, uh, this whole week decluttering your winter health and basically you know, we're not reinventing the wheel here we are just giving you reminders because in our busy lives we forget don't we not, not okay um, we forget the little basics like uh, 
whatever it is we're going through it this week we forget basics like water and sleep and food and yeah right okay so every now and then we need a little bit of a poke in the arm and uh, hello hello remember because otherwise you will uh, your immune system is going to uh, suffer and you won't battle those illnesses as um, as quickly as you could and of course with COVID around you want your immune system in tip-top shape don't you all right so uh, sleep for me is number one I mean I got half an hour more sleep last night and yeah almost half an hour and I did notice the difference in my morning nap minute for minute I, it it made a difference so um, they say between seven and nine hours sleep the poll that I ran in the declutter the brain Facebook group um, people are weighing in slowly and they're around about the uh, Michael you posted over seven I think six to seven yeah you posted six to seven Pam I'm not sure what you posted in our poll in the Facebook group about how much sleep we're getting so what you want to do is um, get, get enough sleep I know that's not always easy oh hello Robin God love you um, um, yeah because otherwise it is hard to focus uh, you get stressed out more quickly uh, you're less productive and you're crabby and by the way you are more accident prone prone one of our one of our uh, clients in our group mastermind she admitted it's in February is it thank you Pam um, that's what I thought uh, I'm old enough to remember when it was early January yeah well, that's how old I am um, uh, she had no my client admitted that uh, she hadn't she twisted she broke her ankle uh, because she wasn't paying attention because she was overtired so Tuesday what did we talk about good food the importance of good food and what do I mean by that I do not mean yes I finally found some junk food in my house um, uh, corn chips okay hey I have about five a week Come on, give me a break. Um, on Monday morning with uh, with refried beans. <laughs> okay, I do have some cookies in my house. That was all I could find. I was looking for junk food that I could that I could use as props, and I couldn't find any. Um, it, it lay off the sugary food. Lay off the fatty food, please. Come on, people. You're grown adults. You know you know better. Uh, twins were born on Super Bowl Sunday. Really neat. Um, uh, what you want to do is make sure that you are eating uh, protein, I don't have any protein here, um, uh, but water rich vegetables, let me do a long drop, okay, like kale, yes I'm holding up a leaf of kale, I live on kale, okay, it's a power food. If you don't like kale, I'm sure you'll find a vegetable that you like, but who does not like a lovely little cherry tomato? Come on, these little bursts of energy, are you kidding me? They are amazing. So you want to make sure that you are doing that to prevent mood swings, to prevent your whoop and down and up and down and up and down uh, moods, things like that, okay? Uh, yesterday, when are you eating? Okay, now this is this is huge. Yes, I know I've talked about it before. Yeah, I'm talking about it again. Um, uh, when are you eating? Okay, are you eating breakfast? And by pre breakfast, no, I don't mean pop tarts. All right, something. I'll go even pop tarts. Sometimes will probably be better, but I don't know. Anywho, some sort of decent, preferably protein-rich breakfast, especially if you're ADHD, but Pam loves her fruit, and God bless her, she's healthy as a horse, so hey, why not? Um, have yourself some sort of breakfast every day, and if you only have time for a protein shake, okay, that's fine, that's fine, just make sure, don't be running out the door skipping breakfast, do you have some coffee with milk? No, that is not breakfast. All right, take your breakfast with you. You don't have to sit and eat it. Okay, just make sure that you eat breakfast. Hmm? Yes. Uh, and, um, oh darn, that's the prep I, mm, prep I don't have is a calendar. 
uh, you will find it a lot easier to eat eat properly and regularly if you have it planned out. I use a calendar to plan mine out even though I have a rough idea. It comforts me to have it written down, this is what you're eating today. Okay, and then you can put little tweaks on it. And especially if you have a family, uh, oh my God, does it ever smooth out your grocery shopping? It's smooth. It, it just uses up men less mental energy if you have it all written down. Now, today, oh, it's out of my vocal range. Up, up and away, my beautiful. Okay, what do I mean by that? I mean, get up off the couch or your chair, your office chair. I have to remember to go for level walks because I sit at, I sit at the desk quite a bit <laughs> doing content to bring to you <laughs> or client consultations, of course. Um, get up off the couch, exercise, even a short, a short regular walk. I am, I'm here to tell you, mea culpa, I am the worst at exercise. Always have been. Go Bengals. Ah, <laughs> now we know. Oh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it. All right. Um, so I walk up and down my, apart my apartment hallway once an hour. I try to remember. Okay, sometimes I forget. There's a song for you, Michael. What was that song I just said? Um... And who sang it? Strength training. Um, it burns calories even when you're at rest. All right, just a little bit of, uh, I suppose you could lift a couple jars of peanut butter up and down. <laughs> yes, this is my timer. Ah, uh, I'll use that as a prop tomorrow. Okay, get outside if at all possible. Now here it is minus 20 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, Celsius and I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Get out if you can for the vitamin D and improve your mood and and for a little bit of a walk around the block. Do what you can with that. All right, it's winter. I know it'll warm up in a couple of days and then you'll be good to go. All right, so that is it for today. Um, if you like this video, share it. If you uh, dislike scrolling as much as I do, um, go to YouTube. Declutter the Brain is on YouTube. We are cataloged, we are labeled, we are organized, and we are waiting for you to come and watch, share, and subscribe. That would be wonderful. Uh, the link is down below, I believe. And um, then I'm just a couple quick questions for you. If you are a future, do you feel sometimes like your mind is running, 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 running on a hamster wheel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, especially if you're ADHD and your brain is just running faster than you can. Um, no, you, you can even sometimes feel perhaps worried that your, your business, your life even, uh, is going, is circling the bowl, not being as good as it could be because your space is a disorganized disaster. You just can't think clearly. So um, I've got two spot. I've got two things for you to do. Two action steps for you that you can do right away. Uh, there. Okay. First thing you want to do is go to declutterthebrain.com and download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter, intended as grounding tool for your declutter journey and beyond. It even comes with short, uh, three minute, um, a series of videos with yours truly. And then while you are at declutterthebrain.com, just hit that little book a call button and um, uh, book a call with me. And I will listen to hear what your clutter is really costing you in your business, in your life, in your relationships. And I'll give you some immediate action to take. And then we can see if we're a fit to work together, but you will not walk away empty handed. I guarantee you this. So remember, now that you have decided to eliminate your chaos, organize your mindset, and it just max out your life, click that link below and book your call today. All right, so tomorrow, the forgotten essentials. Thanks so much for watching. You take care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow, 11 Eastern. Bye for now.